Well, we're delighted to see so many guests today from all over the United Kingdom. They've been inside the Crucible, they've watched a little bit of snooker and delighted to say that a lot of them as well have joined us here in the Winter Garden as well in our studio here. And Jonathan Adams is one of the men responsible for getting more people involved in snooker. Jonathan, good afternoon to you, welcome to you. This is really important, isn't it, to get more people playing this sport? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, snooker is such an inclusive sport for so many people and to give them the opportunity to play, as we see so many able-bodied people doing so fantastically, it's so crucial to help developing snooker as a whole, not just for disability, but also with the Olympic bid that we're, you know, hoping to achieve in the future. And uh, through the work we do with the disability body, it just allows it to become one inclusive sport instead of segregating the two that's been done previously. So events like this and the work we've done with our previous tournaments is only going to help reflect like that in the future years to come. You're new to the role, are you making progress? Definitely, I think we're making progress all the time and the, and the best thing about it is the people I'm involved with at the WDBS are willing to learn as well. You know, it's not a finished article, it's not a polished product, but at the end of the day, you know, we're committed to helping disabled people, men and women of all disability types, get involved with snooker um, because it's such a wonderful game and we think that, you know, just because you have a disability it doesn't mean you don't have an ability on the table and if we can help promote that and help drive that forward then that's something that, you know, we're very proud proud of as a governing body. Interestingly for snookers, obviously you know, the table's quite high of all of the table ball games. I mean, the, the, the pool table is a lot lower. The, table, the snooker table is quite high. You've got obviously different uh, types of dis disability that plays. How many different grades are there? Uh, there's, on the physical disabilities, there's one to five. Or in the one to two is dis uh, in the wheelchairs. And then three to five is the ambulant people, all di varying different disabilities. And then we've got six to eight, which is uh, sensory, vision, and uh, intellectual disability. So there's a huge range of, of disabilities and um, luckily it's still one of those sports that can still be adapted to any, any disability type and I think that's one of the beautiful things of snooker is the fact the sport itself doesn't need to be too largely adapted for it to be able to, for people to participate in it so it, it helps at the grassroots level and obviously at the elite level which we're trying to uh, penetrate in the future years. Stephen, so many other sports in the United Kingdom have made such fantastic progress when it comes to disability sport. It's brilliant that the WPBSA are doing this. Yeah, fabulous. I mean, it's, it's some, it's the guys, some of the pots that they're, 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 yeah. they're, they're playing here, they're fantastic. What's the, what sort of breaks are being made? Well, we had a, an Indian gentleman, Raja uh, Subramanian, who was in York at the UK Championship where he was received his uh, medal off Nigel Moore, our chairman, and Jason Ferguson. And he's a sure. billiard player by trade in India and hadn't played the game for 12 years, came over to the South West That was Academy. the gentleman we just saw in the, the film. The gentleman we just saw, and he had a 58 break and a 53 break in one, in one frame. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, to say that he's never played on, on the star tables, which is obviously where the professionals play on the tournaments, yeah. uh, to achieve breaks like that it was truly incredible. One thing that um, not many people know, and, I, and I'm aware of this fact, is that obviously these days, you know, the snooker world gone through, we've all got our extensions, yeah? OK. And um, there was a time when we didn't have those. We used to use the half bucks on the table, and then we unscrewed our cue, and then we had to put another bit on. But, of course, the players that played in the wheelchair were doing this years ago and it's taken the pros to catch up so long. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I see players, you know, with, with little pieces of the rest using that as a bridge hand, uh, you know, telescopic extensions, basically the length of the table, and it just allows them to be on a level playing field, which otherwise they might not have had the, you know, the, the opportunity to do so. And I think, uh, you know, with the innovations that are coming into sport now with modern technology and obviously the demand for, you know, inclusion with disability people, um, it's incredible the things you think of now and you think 25 years ago you would never dream of having something like that involve people with disabilities to be involved at a level playing field so it's incredible